For this is the day that you have made, and for us to rejoice in. Glad to be a man of the living. As we pray, Lord, we ask, Lord, that thou wilt have mercy upon us, God. Forgive us, Lord, of our sins. God, help us in the name of Jesus to be an overcome of everything that's not like you, God. Give us victory in every area that we need. We fall short, God. We claim victory in the name of Jesus. Remember, God, those who are among us this morning, God. Those who sit, God. Those who are convalescent. Those who are arraignment, God. That you will continue to touch the hearts of your people. Oh, God, those who hear my voice, God, you know the needs of your people even before we ask. Right now, in the name of Jesus, minister, God, to every need, God. Remember this city in a special way. For this is the center of deliverance, God. Send forth, God, those who are in need, God, and prepare us, God, our hearts, our minds, that we may be able to receive them. Oh, God, we pray for our pastor that you would continue to bless them, God. Strengthen the Lord. Remember his companion, God. We pray, God, for the ministerial staff and all of our missionaries and those lay members among us, God. Continue to bless our young people, God. Build a hand of protection around them, Lord. We thank you, God, that you brought us this far. And we know that God, great is coming. Continue to keep us and we shall be kept. Continue to bless us and we shall be blessed. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen.
and for his people far and near. Friends of the assembly, and those across the nation and around the globe. We are celebrating just a couple of days ago, the day that was designated. Universally as the Earth Day of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We had a threshold of another year. A lot of things have transpired. Many tears.
I pluralize that word, Gospels. Even though they had him on the last thing, his Gospel. Because I'm dealing with three basic Gospels that we might understand. We might understand the Gospel or the Gospels. I'm going to address each of them, but I'm going to place special emphasis on the present gospel. That is the gospel of Jesus Christ. I would that you that are listening would get your pencils and papers and jot down the scriptures that I would use today. It's important. You even you that are here, the few you that are here. The Bible declared that one is to study. She showed himself and herself a fool unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. It's good. Write down the gospel of the kingdom. The Gospel of the Kingdom. Scripture reference, St. Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. The Gospel of the Kingdom, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. And St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And the gospel of Christ or the gospel of grace, Romans chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. Romans chapter 1, verse, chapter 6, rather, verse 15. I'm sorry, Romans chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. And the everlasting gospel, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. The everlasting gospel, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. Paul says, relevant to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the gospel of grace, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God that unto salvation to whosoever believes, to the Jew and to the Greek, it is addressed. But let us go to the gospel of the kingdom. This gospel was preached by John the Baptist, the disciples of Christ Jesus, and Christ himself. That is the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, or the kingdom of Christ. This gospel was the good news that was first preached by John the Baptist. You see, this house only came to his campaigns. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The basic contents of this message is the Messiah has come. Christ has come. Repent. Repent. And he's going to set his kingdom up. Take the throne of David. Restore his kingdom back to Israel. For no one is Israel of the broken nation. Over the years before and after Christ, they suffered 
at the hands of other nations. They were the spirits of world. But in this message, he would bring Israel back together. And Israel would have its king. And this was the message of the gospel of the kingdom. And Jesus refers to it again in chapter 24, verse 14. When this gospel of the kingdom is preached, this is one that is used so many times out of context. By preachers across the globe. When they preach as a witness to all nations, then shall come the end. That's true, but it does not apply to today. The gospel of the kingdom was preached to the Jews, and they rejected their king. The Bible declared that they came to his own. And his own received him not. He came to the Jews, working miracles, doing things that no one else had ever done. But the religious leaders, the priests, the Levites, the scribes, all those who have authority. Except the remnant rejected him. The poor, the despised, the downtrodden, they followed him, receiving miracles, being delivered from the powers of demons. But in spite of all of that, the religious community rejected him. And so, therefore, the gospel of the kingdom ended with Christ dying on the cross. It ended. The gospel of grace, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. The good news centered around this was the order of the day. Was the order of the grace age. You see, John the Baptist, the disciples of Christ, and Christ himself could not preach the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ simply because he had not died. So when Jesus was first, when this gospel of the kingdom in chapter 24, verse 14, he's not referring to the gospel that we preach now. He was indicative. He said, when this gospel, according to an existing gospel, is preached. So what happens here is, by their rejecting Jesus Christ, they announced they rejected his kingdom, and of course his kingdom was deferred. He's going to set his kingdom up. And this gospel, relevant to his kingdom, will be preached again. But not now. So this gospel will be preached during the tribulation period. Now, during this horrendous, unequated time period, the Lord will have 124,000 civil Jews. 12,000 from each 12 tribe of the children of Israel. They would preach. The Messiah is coming. The Christ is coming. And he shall establish.
establish his kingdom on earth. The same message that John the Baptist, who was a fast, to preach this gospel. And these civil Jews will be the last to preach this gospel. And they will declare the same message. Christ will set up his own. By this time, Israel we will be glad to receive him and accept him. But my friends, this is not the gospel that we preach in today. Preachers across the nation, look at the scripture. When you announce sending some money, thousands of dollars, that we be preached this gospel of the kingdom. As a witness, and then the Lord's coming. Surely, finances should be submitted around the globe to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. And the present gospel we preach today is not the gospel of the kingdom, but it's a final gospel. And this gospel will be preached. And virtual Revelation 14 to 6, an everlasting gospel. That's to be preached all over the world, to all nations, all children, all tongues, all people. But this gospel is preached by an angel at the end of the tribulation period. The activities of the devil are coming to a close. We're going into eternity. And this angelic oracle shall preach the everlasting gospel. That's great. That's the future. I'm not planning on being here when they come to preach it. I rather than when John the Baptist preached it. When Jesus preached it. And I'm glad. If I were here when the angel preaches, that means that I would have gone through the tribulation. So I'm not going through the tribulation. I would have him down the Baptist and the disciples preached it because they preached it under the law. Oh, praise our God. But I thank God for the gospel of Jesus Christ. For the gospel of grace. Thank God for God's grace. A man called Jesus. Somebody called him the living of the valley. Rose of shadow. Fast, next, after the mingle, the better life. You name it all those wonderful names that are used to describe who he is. The Redeemer, the Savior of the world, the lover of my soul. Oh, he's wonderful. And the gospel of grace when it comes, it exposes me to all the things that are messed up, but his blood is clean up. The gospel of grace. I'm not given favor from God because of my goodness. I'm hidden over my passages because the gospel of grace gives me not what I deserve, but what I don't deserve. You are only here today because of the grace of God. All kinds of sins. Unclean sins, homosexual sins, murdering sins. You'd be surprised at what people have done in sitting up in church. Rapists. Hello. Mm -hmm. I could have done some stuff with them texting the ladies and about a man you know, for life. Mm. But thank God for his grace. Amen. Shall we all sit down and like to see any? Oh God.
don't leave everything in the book. And got the closet you know, locked up. Pointing fingers at somebody else. You know, this is me, brothers and sisters across the globe. Oh God, what did you go to your closet? Enough bones to fall out of your closet and fill up the bat of your house with that. Oh God, but thank God for his grace. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! For the grace of God. Paul wrote for his sons in the gospel say, For the grace of God will appear to all men. Teaching us an ungodly, and denying ungodliness and word of lust. That we should have sold the righteousness in this present world. The gospel of Christ, the gospel of grace. And occasionally it may be say the gospel of God, but it means a gospel that we are preaching and that we are preaching at this present time. The gospel. Jesus Christ. And Paul says to the church at Rome, not to sinners, but to the church. The contents of the book of Romans are from the church. He doesn't speak to Israel, he talks about Israel. To the church. There are those that say, talking to Israel from 8 to 11, he talks about Israel to the church, the body of Christ. Yeah. The body of Christ. And Paul says, he says, Romans chapter 1, verse 15 and 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. To do first, the Greek and the Gentiles. It's the power of God and everyone that believes. It would change lives. It would change minds. It would change circumstances because it has power. The gospel is not just a weak word. The gospel is not just a weak word or a combination of words. It has power in it. Yeah. It has the ability to react as to opposite poles, magnetized poles, or north pole or the south pole. They draw each other. But to likewise poles repair. The gospel is. That no pole, and we as sinners, is the sign pole. When that no pole comes into our situation, it has a power yeah. to control us. Who yeah. God I think. Anybody thank God for the gospel of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Oh, it's something about the gospel. Jesus himself. Even though he preached the gospel of the kingdom, but he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to preach the limits to the captives, recovery of sight. To the blind, to set a liberty of them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable. Accept the gift of the Lord. These power. He says, I'm anointed. Yes. Call to preach. I'm called to preach the gospel.
That's what he says. And now, at the closing hours of his life, he's talking to his disciples. Don't let your heart be troubled, etc. This is them they that believe. The works that I do shall they do because I go to my Father. I preach the gospel. Yeah. And the message that I preach was followed by miracles.
because of those that have given, those who can save funds. You have seen those that are suffering in the Santino part of Mexico and in other parts of Africa that we were able to support. And I've committed myself to send, send seed gifts to help support not just my medicine, but other medicines. And that's how I'm blessed. And through all of this pandemic, God has been good to pass it on. And I'm so grateful for that. So again, the gifts are thanks to Dr. Moore. And of course, this is the 5013C organization. God bless you. To the CD at 6 o'clock. Have a nurse not upon you. Remember, the gospel of Jesus Christ is different from the everlasting gospel and from the gospel of the kingdom. Thank God for the gospel of the grace of God. God.